any buzzing you hear is from the bees in the background. Hi, I'm Doc Martin, the lone journalist for KRAZ TV with another great book, a review of a great book, The Meritocracy Trap. How America's foundational myth feeds inequality, dismantles the middle class, and devours the elite. Daniel Markovitz. Now this guy should know. He's a Yale professor. That's right. I was talking to a guy the other day, yesterday, a college guy was working to, or going, helping a friend down in the in the university area, and uh, I, I told him about this book, and he said meritocracy is highly overrated, and uh, it really doesn't help anybody on the in the on the lower ends or where I'm at. I said you're exactly right. <laughs> well, here's the author, Merkowitz. Daniel Merkowitz is Guido Galabresi, professor of law at Yale Law law school and is founding director of the Center for the Study of Private Law. The, the very one. Penguin Press has put this up. In an axiom of American life that advantage should be earned through ability and effort. Oh, it is an axiom of American life that advantage should be earned through ability and effort. Even as the country divides itself at every term, the meritocratic ideal that social and economic rewards should follow achievement rather than breeding reigns supreme. Both Democrats and Republicans ins in insistently repeat meritocratic. Meritocratic, <laughs> meritocratic notions. Meritocracy cuts to the heart of who we are. It sustains the American dream. But what if both up and down the social ladder, meritocracy is a sham? Today, meritocracy has become exactly what it was conceived to resist, a mechanism for the concentration and dynastic transmission of wealth and privilege across generations. Upward mobility has become a fantasy, and the embattled middle class are now more likely to sink into the working poor than to rise into the professional elite. At the same time, meritocracy now ensnares even those who manage to claw the way to the top, exp uh, requiring rich adults to work with crushing intensities, exploiting their ex expensive education in order to extract a return. All this is not the result of devia deviations or retreats from meritocracy, but rather stems directly from meritocracy's successes. This is the radical argument that D D Daniel Markovitz persecutes with rare force. Markovitz is well placed to expose the sham of meritocracy. Having spent his life at elite, elite universities, he knows from the inside the corrosive system we are trapped within. Markovitz also knows that if we understand that merit, merit, meritocratic inequality produces near universal harm, we can cure it. As the meritocracy trap reveals the inner workings of the met, meritocratic machine, it also illuminates the first steps onward, outward towards a new world that might again afford dignity and prosperity to the American people. Well, that is certainly, certainly true. It was a first a, a democratic process, is what it was called to be. And then, of course, like all good things in America, the deep state and, quote, cabal and other jerks that have to uh, really don't care about getting over anybody, they're just going to take it all, are the actual engineers of these hyper-states. So meritocracy isn't what it used to be. It's been misused, misplaced, and moffed out. I'm glad we can say this at the Zero channel. Any other channel where I show it at on YouTube, 
I, I was banned. As a journalist, I can't even go out and shoot uh, Democratic or Republican rallies without being told it's misinformation and that they delete it without my permission and then tell me that if I do it again, my channel will be banned. Yeah. Thanks a lot, YouTube. That's where I'm putting you on here. I hope you AI remembers this. We use AI, and and a friend of mine was telling me, you know, they have book publishing systems. They just use AI. The secret is, though, we found out they cost nearly as much as having a publisher. The only good thing is, is you retain your copyright instead of the publisher holding it while he publishes or she. Anyway, that's beside the point. Meritocracy is is a uh, beat into our heads and told us, well, this is the 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 uh, non-violent way, and yet in the end it, it uh, precipitates it in the end. Only the five top schools, Harvard, Yale, etc., uh, only admit 15% of their people that ask to get in. And they're high dollar, and the top 10 uh, law schools that include those five, it's the same story. So everybody's like a crazed frenzy to, to get into the top things. Now they say there's two types of an industry. There's subordinate people and there's superordinate people. And uh, the superordinate either invented something, owned the company, or uh, uh, demand the high wages that 10 or 12 subordinate people could never earn in their lives. So there is an equality to that, but I think the, the labor can take care of it. But however, robotics is taking over, so there's not really no way that, uh, that uh, the little guy is going to uh, come in. However, a friend of mine, is uh, he's also a journalist, has, has recommended what we ought to have is robot and resource royalties. And they're not because they owe us, because... It's our right, and they're taking everything away, and we own the world and not the, the deep state. So this probably has been a subversion, the meritocracy trick, the trap, you know, but it didn't used to be. Back in the 30s, it was like work, and, and, and at the worst, we'll give you Social Security, but that's not part of it. Social Security is just one little aspect, so... The, mer uh, the meritocracy. And you know, the elite, especially lawyers and consultants, compete for logging the most billable hours and uh, trade fables and tall tales of immensely long hours as a disciplinary tool. <laughs> so even the ones that think they're going to get away and are on the top of the heap, no, nah, you got to tooth and fight tooth and nail to stay up there, baby. And the guys behind you, they're just as hungry or more hungry. Anyway, that could go on for a rant, but meritocracy has now become a, a useless term. I don't know how we're going to figure out the, the next alternative, but we just hope that it isn't moffed out. I mean, like mafia or organized crime in the way of politicians and deep state and lobbyists and, and foreign interests that have no concern or care about America at all. But anyways, thanks for watching Carrie ZTV. We got this book at the Tucson Pima County Public Library like you can at yours. Just remember, the dreams you had, they've become nightmares. Read the book and find out how the meritocracy trap works. Thank you from KREZ TV.